Hey YouTube, what's up? Ryan here from Terror Tech Entertainment, here to show you how to install the Portal Gun mod for Minecraft 1.1 on a Mac. So, I am doing this tutorial for Minecraft 1.1 at the moment, but if the process is the same, I'll just change what version of Minecraft it is up in the title and change the download links down below for Minecraft 1.2 and so on later on down the road. So, what you're going to need to do, there's going to be five things you have to download and one optional thing, you don't need this, which are Mod Loader, Audio Mod, Mod Loader MP, Minecraft Forge Client, and the Portal Gun mod. So, and then the optional one is Too Many Items. So what you're going to need to do, download those, and I suggest putting all the unzipped folders into one folder so it's for easy access. So then what you want to do, all you want to do is go Finder, then get a new Finder window. And then what you want to do, go over to your name, and then go into Library. If you are on Lion, I'll have a link down in the description showing you how to get this library folder back. In Lion, and if you're on any previous version of OS X, then you should have it already. So you want to click on Library, go Application Support, and then scroll down until you see Minecraft. So what you're going to want to do, you want to make a brand new Minecraft folder. So what you can do first, just back up your saves and your texture packs. So just pull these out and delete everything in here and then run Minecraft again which I'm gonna show you right here that I am running on 1.1 so log in and there it is Minecraft 1.1 okay so you're gonna want to have a brand new folder so and then you want to go into your bin folder and then what you want to do on this minecraft.jar you want to right click it say open with and then what you're gonna want is the unarchiver right here not archive utility if you have lion you do not want to use this if you have any previous version of OSX you can use archive utility but if you have lion you want to use the unarchiver which you can find in the app store so just open it with the unarchiver and then you get this Minecraft folder. So what you want to do, you can either just delete this Minecraft.jar or you can keep it somewhere. So just drag it to your desktop. But I'm going to go ahead and delete it. Then what you want to do, you want to right click on the Minecraft folder. And then you want to go to Git Info. And then name an extension right here. You want to add .jar. Then hit Enter and Add. Alright, so then you can close out of the info, and now you can see it says Minecraft.jar, which is good. So, what you're going to want to do, you want to go into your Minecraft.jar, and then scroll down to the ims, to where you see this meta-inf. Do not delete the folder, just open it and delete everything inside of the folder. So, just drag it into your trash. Okay. So now what you want to do, you want to go back into the minecraft.jar, so the one with all the .class files, and then you're going to want to install modloader first. So how to install modloader, go over into the modloader folder, and all you see are all these .class files. All you want to do is copy them all and paste them all into the minecraft.jar, click apply to all, and replace. So there's mod loader. That's all installed. So you can go back. Now you want audio mod. So double click that. And then you're going to want to look for these two folders. If there is not one of those folders, just drag it in. So let's go down to the eyes, which are right here. No, those are L's. Alright, here are the eyes, and there is no IBXM 
what you want to do is just copy that and paste it in here. All right, so now you have that. And then you just want to copy the class file and then paste it into there and then click on replace. And then you want to scroll all the way down to the P's, which are right up here into the Paul's code. So go into your audio mod, click on Paul's code, go back in here, click on Paul's code, and then go into sound, and then go into sound on this, and then go into the code CS on on both of them. And then you want to copy the one from the audio mod folder and paste it into the code CS Minecraft.jar folder. So then what you want to do, just scroll back into the minecraft.jar and you are done with audio mod so again you want to open Paul's code sound and code CS and copy the dot class file inside there into the exact same location in your minecraft.jar file alright now you want to install mod loader MP so open up that just copy all the files and paste them into your minecraft.jar, click apply to all, and replace. So now you have those done, so the mod loader MP is done. Now you want Minecraft Forge client. So you're going to want to open up that, and there is one forge file, so go into your minecraft.jar, and then go up to the F's, and if you do not have a forge file, which you should not if you have a brand new folder, all you want to do is copy every single one of these and paste them over into there. Click apply to all and replace. So now you have the Minecraft Forge client complete. Okay, so once you are done installing all of those, before you do the portal gun mod, all you're going to want to do is open up your Minecraft program. So just click on that and click login. And then you want to go single player and you can do whatever world you want. So I just have a flat world. So as you can hear, there's sound. And everything should be up and running. So then you can just save and quit to title and quit the game. Okay, so now what you have, you want to go back into just the Minecraft folder. And you can see here, now you have a mods folder. So you want to click on that. And there's nothing in there yet. So then go over here and click on the portal gun and just copy the portal gun mod. Alright, so that is all you have to do to install the portal gun mod. And you can access a lot of the portal gun stuff while using creative mode. But if you do not want to just use creative mode, you can go ahead and install too many items. Too many items is pretty quick, so just double click. You have all these dot class files and this one PNG. So all you want to do is go back into the bin and back into the dot jar. Copy everything here and paste it into there and click on replace so that is how you get too many items it was just a it's an extra mod that is optional you do not need it but it will help out a lot all right so now you are done with the portal gun mod so you can close out of both of these and go ahead and jump into your minecraft folder or file not file your minecraft program click login and go single player and any world I'm just gonna jump on new world so you have this and then once you go into your inventory this is too many items mod which lets you have access to every single block and if you hit back twice you get all of the portal gun stuff so that is pretty cool So, you get some companion cubes, and then you have a couple songs here. So, I'm just going to grab those in the portal gun. And where is the jukebox? Alright. 
So then you can jump into creative mode and stuff. And there's a whole bunch of stuff you can do with too many items. But I have another video on how to do that. So I'll have a link for that. So you can see there's still sound. And now you can see through the portals, which is pretty cool. So let me go ahead and take off a couple blocks. And a couple more. It's right here to show you what you can do. Alright, so we're done. And there you go. You can see yourself over there. It's not perfect, but it is pretty cool. And you just walk through, and there you go. So that is the portal gun, and it also comes with the portal songs. There's a ton of slimes around here. So I'm gonna jump in here now real quick. Yeah, so there's the first song. And you're still alive. So you can just play with those songs and you can play with these. And there are a few more things in the actual mod. But, uh, you, yeah. Alright, well, thanks for watching this video. Hope you found it helpful. And please leave a comment if you have any questions and give it a thumbs up. It helped you out, and please subscribe for some more videos in the future, and look forward, because I might have a full mod spotlight on this mod, because it is a pretty cool mod. So, yep, thanks for watching, and if you have any other mods you would like to see me do, just leave it down in the description, or under the description, and I will see you next time.